This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. This tutorial video covers the storing of files into multiple folders within Drive. Moving is different from adding files to folders and we'll review that. We'll also take a look at how you can manage files in bulk by selecting multiple files at once. And finally we'll show you two ways that you can add files to multiple folders. When you move a file, you're relocating it from one folder to another. Effectively, it exists only in one folder, and you're simply changing that folder location. Google Drive allows a feature that is really unique in that you can actually have a file accessible from multiple folders. This is done by adding the file to multiple folders, and we're going to focus on that in this video. Let's get started. Files can be added to multiple folders by clicking one time to select the file, then holding the Shift key down while pressing the letter Z. This will pop up a different menu that says Add To. The Add To menu will work just like the Move To menu, allowing you to select the folder that you want and making sure that you verify the location right here at the top and saying Add. If you want to add a file to multiple folders, you can do this, but it has to be done individually. So right now this file exists in two folders. If I want to add a third folder, I hold Shift, the letter Z down again, and I choose another folder. So if I want to look and see where the file exists, the way to do that is to look in the details of the file. I can access this by either right-clicking on the name of the file and choosing View Details, or by clicking the file one time and selecting it, the Details icon is one of the choices at the top. Doing this, I'll see the item details, and you can see it lists multiple locations for my file. You'll see the locations listed here, so this file is existing in three locations. If I want to remove it from one of those locations, I can do that. Right here, I can just click the X and now I have it removed. In addition to adding one at a time, you can have multiple files that you add to a folder at once. You can do this by holding the control key down and clicking to select all of the files that you wish to add to the folder. So once you've clicked and selected the files, you're going to choose Shift Z again to navigate to your Add To menu. You choose the location that you want to save the files to, or, or I'm sorry, add the files to. And then you say Add, and now they're added to that folder while still being held in the folder they originated from. Another way to organize files is from within the file itself. So I'm inside a file, and to the right of the file name is a folder icon. Clicking this will show me what folder it currently resides in and give me the ability to organize right inside the file itself. So clicking the Organize button, I have a menu, and this will allow me to expand by clicking the icon off to the left here, the different folders that are hidden, if I need to save it in the subfolder. And if I click the name of the folder, you'll notice that the check mark moves to that location. So I can actually choose a single folder to move it to, or if I hold the control key down, I can actually choose multiple folders for the file to reside. So I've just now selected three folders. If I say move, it's actually going to add that file into those multiple folders. So to verify that I've done this, I click my folder icon again, and now I see that that file exists in three locations. Thanks for watching. For this and other information on how to use technology effectively in your classroom, check us out online at teachingforward.net.